What is up, y'all? It's your boy Zay back again with another video. Now, in today's video, I did some Black Friday shopping at Target and uh, GameStop. So, GameStop right there, and these three Target had a deal going on today buy two, get one free. So, there's that. Um, I got three 4Ks of Scream 3, Scream 6, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And at for GameStop, which was the last location, uh, Demon Souls, the remake for the PlayStation 5. Uh, which was another one of their uh, launch titles when the PS5 originally came out in November 2020. Um... Man, where, where do I start? Um, well, first off, Target, the, the one that I went to, didn't even have, like, good 4Ks. Like, obviously, I know these are movies I already have on Blu-ray. But I just said, fuck it. It's time for a 4K upgrade. So, um, I know I've done Blu-ray unboxings of all of these on my channel. So, what I'm going to do... It's since it's Black Friday, I'm gonna choose to do all of this in one video because of Black Friday being today. So let's get started with Demon Souls first. Um, yeah, so GameStop also had a deal going on if you buy two pre owned games, get one free. So I bought one. <laughs> I only bought one because the GameStop I went to had this game. Um, but the PS5 games they have, um, I already have. Like, they have Spider-Man 2, God of War Ragnarok, um, which that's one I do have, but it's on the PS4. Um, but uh, I chose to get one because they didn't really have that many good ones. And the ones that they did have... I already have on PS5, so, um, yeah, so, the cover looks pretty damn cool, I like how it looks, now, I did have the original PS3 version, but it's not here anymore, <laughs> with me, but I did play it, I did play the original Demon Souls for PS3, I have not yet played the remake for PS5. Um, but anyways. Rated M for Mature. This game came out in 2020. Um, so here we got the spine. Which is a continuation of the front cover. And on the, on the back, we got some pretty cool, dope-ass thumbnails from the game. Discover where the journey begun, began. Master the arts of sorcery sorcery and war become the slayer of demons interesting okay um let me read it end for mature it's a single player game and like i said it's pre-owned so i try to get this game brand new but yeah 2020 was a long time ago so i might as well get get it pre-owned which is why it's not wrapped um here we got the disc right here, which that is the OG cover for the PS3. So I like that. That is pretty neat. And then we got the back art, which I will show you guys. All right, so it's a it's basically a wrap around cover with this. It's a wrap around, so there that is what it looks like. It looks cool. I like the black and white, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the original artwork because I think it looks way cooler. Will I get the PS3 version? Um maybe sometime in the future. I don't know, the game is pretty, uh, it's not expensive online, like, I looked on, not too long ago, I looked on eBay, 
It was only like 18 bucks brand new for the PS3, so who knows? But there is Demon Souls for the PS5. So alright, so first 4K we're gonna look at is Let's start with the screen movies. Screen 3 is the first one. So Yes, guys, this confirms in the future I will be getting the rest of the Scream films on 4K. So the one, after this, I think I'm going to get the upcoming Scream 4 because that one is on its way on 4K pretty soon. Um, And then after Scream 4, I'm going to get Scream 5 or Scream 2. I know, between one of those two. Scream 5 or Scream 2. But uh, here we got the front cover. Looks pretty cool. It's got like a... Uh, I guess you get a silhouette of Ghostface mask. Between the three right there. Which is pretty cool. And... Stay tuned for the end of the video. Because I got an announcement to make. So, stay tuned. Um, Yeah, nice cover. You got the spine, which has ne Neve Campbell, Cindy Prescott, right there. And at the back, nice picture of Ghostface. The most terrifying scream is always the last. <laughs> but it didn't turn out to be that way. They made three more movies. <laughs> uh, with the seventh movie supposedly on the way. I have heard the news that Melissa Barrero got fired. So she's off of Scream 7, and uh, Jenna Ortega is also off from Scream 7 because of her busy schedule with Wednesday's Season 2. So, we got some special features here, which are audio commentary by director Wes Craven, producer uh, Marine, Marine Mad Madonna, Madonna, I don't fucking know, and editor Patrick Lucifer. Lucier, my fault. Um, deleted scenes, alternate ending, outtakes, behind the scenes, montage, music video, what if, the article trailer, and international trailer, and TV spots. So that's cool. The movie's rated R, of course. And the runtime is 116 minutes. And this 4K, I think, came out... This year, if I'm not mistaken, I think it came out this year or late last year. Uh, but the movie came out in 2000. So let me just look on the back, see if I see a release date for this 4K. Oh, let me see. If it's not on the back of this, it's probably on the back of the original um, case. I think this came out last year. I'm, I'm trying to find the date, but I can't find it on the slip. Um, but let's go ahead and take the slip out. And let me see if it's on the back of this. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, look up the release date for this because I think I'm I'm gonna assume this came out late last year. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. There we go. I cannot wait to pick up the rest of these on 4K. Um. So here's the deal. I went and bought across the... No, wait. I bought Scream 3 and Scream 6. Those were the two I bought, and I got across the Spider-Verse as the buy one, get one free offer. There's that wrap. Let's go ahead and open this up and not show the code that comes with this. But uh, here's the back of the digital insert. It pretty much advertises uh, Scream, Scream 2, Scream 5, and uh, Smile. You see, and that cover looks pretty damn cool for Scream 2. It's pretty much the poster, but in 
uh, black and red, which I like. Uh, here, so here's the disc. It's black. It's from Paramount, so they're not gonna do artwork on their discs. So uh, it's black for the 4K. Um, I will, and also stay tuned for the rest of the video because I'm gonna be doing some comparisons with these 4Ks compared to the Blu-ray versions. So. I'm actually pretty surprised that the 4K is handling both the movie and the bonus features because 4Ks these days, um, the Blu-ray contains the movie on Blu-ray and the features because the 4K disc can only handle so much, which is the movie. So, but there is Scream 3, Scream 6. Had to guess, had to get this one, had to. Um, it's my favorite of the fa of the franchise. So it's pretty. It pretty much got the same cover going on as the Blu-ray, which I did the unboxing of it. So over an hour of terrifying behind-the-scenes content. And I know for a fact this came out 2023, both the movie and the physical release. So here we got the back of this, bigger, bloodier, and scarier. So by Thomas. Aladis of One Take News. Rated R. And the movie is 122 minutes long. And. Oh, for the 4K features. 4K features are 4K the resolution of full HD, HDR, high demic, high dynamic rage for more detail brightness vivid color and greater contrast which i do like and the special features are face your fears with over an hour of heart pounding killer bonus features go inside the terrifying sequel to the requel oh i see what they did their sequel requel as the cast and crew give you a behind the scenes look at the filming of all your favorite scenes. You got some thumbnails from the movie. The core four. <laughs> Man, it really pisses me off that two of the main stars of Scream 5 and 6 are fired from. So, so that means Nave Campbell is going to probably return for Scream 7 because I don't think I'll ever see it. To be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't think no one would see Scream 7 if Nick Campbell isn't going to be in it. Because they got, they got rid of Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega. This is the Carpenter Sisters, <laughs> pretty much. Two of my favorite characters from the new Scream movies, dude. Fired because of what they had to say was good ridiculous but anyway um open this up and not show the code and back of this same deal advertise it scream one and two five and smile on 4k so scream six has the same deal going on with the disc it's black so it's paramount they're not gonna do shit with their disc card so all right, that takes care of the screen movies. Last 4K and last item from Black Friday, 2023. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. A must fucking have on 4K. Number one, it's an animated movie. Best animated of the year, hands down. And I know this is going to look good on 4K because it's animated. Um, Anyway, I really do like this cover. It's pretty much the 4DX poster from when the movie first came out in that specific theater. Um, it's got Miles, it's got Gwen, 2099, right there. Um, who else is in this? It's got Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, Spider-Punk, Scarlet Spider, uh, Bombastic Bagman, Insomniac Spider-Man right there. Uh, is that Spider-Man India? A spider cat right there. Who is that at the top? Oh, that's Spider Society. Right there. That's the chick that controlled 
uh, what's my call it? The headquarters I want to see. I want to say. Um, I'm trying to find this. The other characters on in this, like Spider Man India. Where's he at? Damn, is he not on this cover? I don't know, but I don't know why he's not on this cover. Damn, they did not put Spider-Man India in this. He was my, one of my favorite new spider people in the movie. But, anyways, on the bottom it says the best Spider-Man film ever made, said by Jake Hamilton of Fox TV. Damn right you are, sir. Uh, over 90 minutes of extras, Easter eggs, deleted scene, and more. And back of this says, you've never seen anything like it in your life. So by Peter Travis of ABC News. Ready PG? The movie is... Where's the minute timer on this damn thing? This is a Sony release, so it's kind of funky where they put... The minute timer of their releases. Anyway, the movie came out 2023 and the physical came out 2023 also. Uh, special features on the Blu-ray come with over 90 minutes of special features. Observe spiders, Easter eggs, deleted scene, Miguel calling, I'm going to do my own thing, interdimensional dinosaur, destiny, Across the worlds, designing new dimensions, designing spiders and spots, scratches, scratches, score, and the music of the multiverse, Escape from Spider Society, across the comic, comics verse, lyric videos, and filmmaker commentary. Also includes creating the ultimate Spider-Man movie, Raising a Hero, Your Friendly Neighborhood Spider Cast. All right, so yeah, I can't seem to find the minute timer on this one. Um, so let's go ahead and remove this and open this up. Let me. Hmm. I can't seem to find uh, how long the movie is on this one. Weird. And this one comes with the uh, Blu-ray 4K and the digital. Unlike the screen movies I just showed you. Those ones only come with the 4K and the digital codes. So open this up. Oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing on this one. Alright, turn this back. Now show the code. This is Sony release, so free movies. Purchase five movies and get a free digital movie. Typical Sony. Right there. Anyway. um, There's the Blu-ray disc of Miles and Gwen. The famous scene. Um, And then you got this beautiful ass 4K disc. Which looks... It look, it's the best one. I'm going to say it right now. It's the best looking one. This is the scene representing... um. When he goes back home. Um, but little did he know. That he went to the wrong universe. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie. Which you should have. Um, so. There's that. Now it's comparison time. Demon Souls to the side because I don't have the PS3 version to compare it with. Um, so here's the Scream 3 4K next to its Blu ray counterpart. They look about as similar. Well, there's the spines right there for you, and here's the back. And this one comes with the code, of course, which is already redeemed, and typical blue disc. There's Scream 3, Scream 6, 
This one looks kind of cool with the red Blu-ray banner. But they look about the same. They look about the same a little bit. You got ghost face on the side. Here's the backs. And this one, I think this is another one that gets the blue disc treatment. It does. It does. Some artwork would be nice, Paramount, just saying. And then the last one is the Target exclusive Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And I wanted to show this off too. This was uh Um what they were handing out. They were handing out like these free um Across the Spider-Verse uh like I wanna say banners or something. They didn't really have a name for the oh collectible ticket, that's what it is. Okay. And yeah, I saw the movie in IMAX. It was a fun experience. And but here we have the Target exclusive next to the standard 4K. Again, I don't know which one is better. I know I said the 4K looks better, but god damn, I love this poster too. But there we go. The spines look about the same. And flip them up to the back. The backs look the same. Now this one came with, since it's the Target exclusive, this one came with, um, I think four or five collectible cards. I did a whole unboxing video for it, but I just thought I'd show you it anyway. You got Miles, you got Gwen, uh... Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Woman, Spider-Man India, Spider-Punk. So you get like six of these actually. And that's what made me pick up the Target exclusive. Because of the cards and the, uh, the exclusive slipcover. Which is pretty much the teaser poster for the film. And yeah, that's all I got to show you guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I will be getting the rest of the Spider-Man. But here's the thing, though. FYE had a 4K of Into the Spider-Verse, but there was no goddamn slipcover. So I was just like... Ew, I'm not getting it because of that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's basically what I got this year for Black Friday. I had to, you know, be stupid with my money, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this video. And happy Black Friday to all my subscribers. Peace out.